up? It is Drew here from Lone Fox and welcome back to my channel. I am so pumped for today's video. I am a huge fall fan, like I'm a fall freak, you know? Thumbs up this video if you are also a fall freak because I just absolutely love fall time. Like I swear to you guys, I decorate my apartment in very warm tones year round, but in the fall time, I decorate it with even warmer tones because why not? Fall and winter are two of my favorite seasons for sure. And especially when it comes to decorating, because I feel like what can you really do for spring and summer? Like you can add stuff to your apartment. Like you can put flowers in it. You can put pastels in it. You could put a sun motif in it like but for fall and winter you can really do the most like those are my favorite times to decorate my apartment for and today i'm decorating with you guys and i'm also doing three really really simple super cute diy projects as well that i think you guys are going to love but before jumping into the video i just want to thank you guys so 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 much for all of the love on the Bretman series like it is absolutely crazy how many views that series has I really didn't think it would get like I thought it was gonna get good views of course you know but I didn't think it was gonna do as well as it did and I just want to thank you guys so much and if you are new here or you just found my channel from those series welcome I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week and I just want to thank you guys like thank you so 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 much for supporting for commenting for thumbsing up even leaving your constructive criticism I really like to read all of your guys's comments and it was definitely one of the hardest and biggest projects I've done first time actually I've never done an apartment like that before and I've really only made over a couple of rooms but I was just so excited and I think Bretman really loved the outcome and I just really love the outcome as well so thank you guys and yeah let's just jump on into today's video so I'm currently in Target right now. I'm looking for some good decor, you know? I'm in the pillow section. Um, I'm trying to find some stuff for fall. You have like different levels of fall decor. You have like your um, minimal level, then you have like your almost there level, then you have your, your over it level, like you know? And I wanna stay in like the your almost there level, almost into your over it, but not quite. I wanna be like right in the middle here. I don't know if you guys remember, but I talked about in my last Bretman video that I got his plant from the Halloween section. This is the plant I got. I'm really into this. I saw Nastasia actually use it in a video recently, and I feel like this would look so good on my wooden dresser. This glass pumpkin is so cute. It has little bubbles in it, but I love how it's like a very modernized kind of fall decor piece. Oh, I've been looking for kind of a magnolia wreath similar to this. So I'm gonna grab one of those because they're actually only 25 bucks, which is a pretty good deal. And they seem really nice quality. They seem actually made of like a fabric. And I think I'm gonna get some of their floral uh, stems, like the autumn ones here. Just like last year, I also love checking Joanne's fabrics because they always have a good selection of decor and it's always super expensive, but you can get it on a really good sale price. So I'm hoping that it's on sale currently. This is what I am talking about. I love 60% off and like look how cute some of the stuff is like this little pumpkin garland um, These garlands up here bows Ribbons, I mean of course I'm not gonna be getting a lot of this, but I just want to share with you guys like I'm in the faux flower section because it's 60% off of the autumn flowers and I really want to do like a DIY wreath I thought these colors were super pretty mixing in like the pink tone into the more fall colors. For my wreath, I also picked up this brass ring um, and then two pieces of felt because I wanna create some like DIY felt leaves. I think that will add like a little handmade touch to it. And I dropped a flower. Oh my gosh, guys. So everything was on sale and I also was able to use a 40% off a regular item and a 20% off my entire purchase. And the total came out to only $25.92 and my total savings was $43.72. So I bet you this normally would be around 70 maybe even more how much is that 70 yeah about 70 dollars I want to quickly to share with you guys a couple of the items I picked up at Target. I found some really great finds. So in the dollar section, I found all of these items or in the dollar spot. So I got these to fill either this little brass container that I got or just to use in other kind of like containers that I do already have. I also got this little piece of raffia, which honestly I'm probably going to just use for future DIY projects. I might incorporate it in this video, but I actually got it for uh, DIYs. And then I got these two little felt pumpkins. The small one was only a dollar. The larger one was three. And I just liked this kind of chocolatey brown color. And one of my favorite favorite 
favorite finds was this wreath here. This is a magnolia leaf wreath, and I absolutely love this. I've been looking at them for so long, and they're always pretty expensive to find a faux one, but this was only $25 at Target, which I think is a pretty good deal because you can repurpose this, you can add to it, you can add some fall florals to it, whatever you want to do to make it a little bit more festive, but I might just leave it as is because I really like the simplicity of it. And then I also just picked up one little pillow. I thought this one was really pretty. I liked the kind of tapestry element and the texture, and it also had this little bit of a leather woven strand on the edge. This was $34.99, but honestly, like, this is a great great universal piece. You can really repurpose this so many times. Use it in your living room, your bedroom. You could probably even use it in your bathroom and put like bath bombs or something in there. Jumping right on into the first project here, I am starting off with a ton of fall florals. And the great thing about this is you can totally customize this. You can go to the dollar store as well to get some more affordable options. But honestly, guys, Joann's had, I think it was like 60 or 70% off the fall florals. And I got an additional 20% off my full order. So these were really affordable. Um, and I just got a ton in a really pretty fall color palette. And keep in mind that you can pull them off the stems, also take some of the leaves, but also cut some of the stems so you have that more organic look. I like to start off with kind of like the focal point of my wreath and I'm going to glue that down and then I'm taking some of the more organic pieces that are kind of going to fill in the wreath and give me the basic shape. I'm only doing about half of this wreath because I want it to have that very kind of minimalistic Pinterest aesthetic that we all know and all love. So I'm kind of just gluing these around very sporadically wherever they fit. You can really play around with the placement and just glue them wherever you want. I actually opted to add an additional rose to fill in that section there, add these little pieces. Um, little leaves, just anything that you can fill the wreath within, that is exactly what I am adding. And then I'm flipping it over to the backside and adding additional hot glue just to make sure everything is super secure and just filling everything in along the way. And then what I wanted to do was actually add some little handmade touches. So I got a piece of felt, which is literally like, I think 40 cents at the craft store. I cut out some leaf shapes and then I'm using a needle and thread just to sew around the outside edge with a back and forth stitch with a kind of like complementary color thread or not even complementary, more of a monochromatic color thread. So you just kind of have that tone on tone look and I'm gluing these leaves in wherever I feel like they fit and just adds a super, super cute kind of handmade touch to the wreath. Last but not least, just use a little bit of baker's twine or a string, macrame cord, whatever it is, to just hang it up on the wall. All I need is you, baby, baby. clothing rack in my room because I love clothing of course and I always try to transition these out like when seasons come or when I want to just like change the color palette
For this next project, I'm actually repurposing this older piece of decor that I probably had for like three years now. I got this at Marshall's a long time ago and it's a large jar filled with like some autumnal items, I guess you could say. So I pulled out a lot of the pine cones and I actually arranged them in this kind of like cascading pattern, which I really, really liked the way that looked. And I just got some baker's twine and I'm basically creating a garland. And do not worry guys, I'm also gonna be using everything else inside of that jar. And I'm also gonna be repurposing the jar as well. So I'm starting off, I'm just gluing the down and I realized that the glue kind of looked ugly so I'm gonna hide that afterwards so just add as much glue as you think is necessary to hold these onto your string and then I'm using a bit of green felt and I'm just gonna recreate those leaves that we did on the wreath but I'm gonna make them on a smaller scale and in this green color so I'm cutting out some basic uh, leaf shapes out of the green felt and then I'm going to be using a darker green embroidery floss and a needle just to go around the edge to give us a little bit of detail if you don't want to do this portion you don't have to you can just cut out the leaf and glue it on but I really like the look of that kind of handmade element so I went ahead and I glued these onto the tops of the pine cones and I know that pine cones don't really have leaves when you like find them or when you see them but I just thought it added a nice little element and it also hid that like glue mark at the top so I like the way that it turned out before these are the floor pillows that we've had um they're from article but they honestly blend in with the rug so much so i actually ordered two new ones from urban and these are actual floor pillows i got a mustard one and then like a cream one and i'm really excited because these are just going to go kind of under the coffee table and have like a little bit of a layered look as I was decorating, I kind of felt like it needed a little bit of real life fall, you know? So I got these white pumpkins at the grocery store, and I got this one here too that has like a little bit of orange in it, but I personally like the white ones a little bit more. I think they're kind of aesthetically pleasing, so I picked up probably like 12 of these. Honestly guys, I wouldn't even really consider this a DIY. I just wanted to throw it in to show you guys what I did. I actually went ahead and I got these like metallic pumpkins at Joann's and I spray painted them with this putty spray paint, uh, just anything lighter color that was easier to apply the acrylic paint to. So then I went ahead and I used green acrylic paint, a minty color and a sage color. I really liked the kind of green tones in these paints. And I actually ended up going in and adding a lot of black to the dark green one. And then this light mint one was perfect. And then I also did a sagey colored one right here and then I also just used some of the original putty colored ones so if you're curious those are around my apartment Prior, I mentioned that I was going to reuse every single thing from that jar. So I'm actually creating like a DIY little centerscape piece. I'm throwing everything in there. The raffia was a great way to kind of cover everything up and create a base for all of the pine cones, pumpkins, and other little fall bits and bobs that are in this like little centerpiece here. And it turned out super cute and it was also a very, very easy to create.
So guys, that was my Decorate With Me for the fall time. I hope that you enjoyed. I just really love the way that it turned out. I didn't want to overdo it in any areas because sometimes I can definitely get like falled out, you know? We can all get falled out every now and then. And people know that when they come over and they walk in, they know that I actually intentionally decorated for fall, but I didn't overdo it. Like, I just wanted to keep it, like, right at that level. So if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. What was your favorite part? And also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for brand new videos every single week. I post them on home decor and DIY. And don't forget to also click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. Even if you're already subscribed, click that bell icon. It's going to notify you when I upload brand new videos because sometimes YouTube doesn't notify you. So just click that icon and you'll be sure to be notified when I upload new videos because you don't want to miss them or else it is spooky season. You never know what's going to happen. I'm just kidding. I love you all so much. Don't forget to also check out LoneFox.com and your email address. And that is all. Too much self-promo. Thank you guys. I love you. Mwah.